Let's go. Good morning, people. It is a Saturday. Feedback session number three. Link it for the people to see. Do -do -do. Juice. <sighs> How you doing, everybody? Probably everyone is in panic right now, trying to wrap up their characters. That's okay. All right. Good evening. How's the sound, by the way? Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. For some reason, my stream on my... Is the stream okay? No freezes, no nothing? Thing that you guys did. Should I put music on? All good? Sounds good, sounds good. Right now it's good. Thanks Marco. Thanks for the support. Hello, hello everybody. Today we're gonna have a smaller crowd, but it's good. Because today, Gonna be calling out names, and if they are not in the live chat, what's the point of feedback on people if they're not watching it? Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, homework five. By the way, guys, how did you like our new organization of um of the Discord? Thanks to Julie. Now we have um Julie's our mod right here. Um. Yeah, for people who, I don't know, maybe get confused, we have all the lectures to watch here, but, 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 when we go to homework announcements, and every lecture that you look at now has a hyperlink to where to upload it. So every time we go into homework announce, you know exactly where to upload it. And then it duplicates itself in a pinned message. So you can see what the assignment is and check out what other people did. And man, people love character design. <laughs> a lot we got a lot of characters today, so it's all good. Hats off to Julie. Exactly. Alright, let's start. Without further ado. First person. Ah, <laughs> I don't know what this what this nickname is. Um, if you guys want, and um, it's easier will be for me. Just change your nicknames to something you know pronounceable. It's gonna make my life easier, and other people can call you <laughs> appropriate names. Yeah. What question, should we re-upload our old homework? Yep. Yep, we should re-upload um, we should re-upload our old homework to uh, the new channels. So um, yeah, maybe I'll just should I just, you know, finished old checkout. Maybe there's gonna be something that I didn't see. Maybe there's some people who uploaded in there. 
But the thing is, is right now there's the people who upload their old work now. And we had to change it because it was getting too confusing because there was um, there was keyframes, there was like mood boards, and then there was character designs all at the same time. And that was a little bit challenging. So yeah, if possible, guys, whoever is watching right now, um, go and um, go and um, you know repost your work. Did I did I dig, make an artificial mouse? Yes, I did. How do we make a Mi Six not to appear anymore on two other channels? I don't know. All right, let's go. Homework five. <sighs> All right, so I'm still avoiding homework three. Okay, so boink. well, the file is probably too big. Is it too big? It's probably too big. That's why it's loading so much. All right, cool. I like it. I love it. I really like when overall, guys. So just a disclaimer: when I'm feedbacking one person. I feel backing all of you guys. So please listen to every niche of person. If you see, oh, it's not me, doesn't mean you shouldn't listen. You should double listen and see what you can learn from a character design. Um, I really like it. It's kind of like very 2D animation friendly, I think. I really like that the person included um, variations, color, shoes variations. I'm not sure if it's different outfits that he wears. Like, um, maybe a pilot outfit, I'm not sure. But I do like that there's a lot of variations. And, you know, clients in general or HRs like to see variation in um, in their characters. <laughs> I see you didn't, you didn't spend too much time on uh, defining the details, but that's fine. As long as they're there, people can see what kind of attributes he has and it turn around. Yeah, nice. On a transparent background. I really like it. I really like it. The main form is maintained. Very round chested individual, very nicely stylized. Even a variation of him with glasses on, even though we don't tackle facial expressions till next week. So yeah, very nice. Doink. I'll do this. Right, next person, Mizuku. Um <laughs> Okay, 16. Uh, a death. I assume he died. I like, man, this is really a quality um, call out sheet. I like it. So a little bit of facial expressions, him on the right in terms of proportions and side view. I'm pretty sure the back view doesn't, it's not really needed that much. So this is enough information already. Um, and we're not doing turnaround till this week. So some people already made the turnaround. So some people were working ahead, so that's great. Cheers to you. Um, very nice, very cool. So I like this character. I, I like I like this design sheet because a 2D animator will come to it and basically will have all the information already because for this kind of like anime style of things, maybe the back could be also shown, but the thing is he, the task was not to do a turnaround. So good job. And then did you do a whole spreadsheet of <laughs> of emotions? That's awesome. Yeah, happy, sad, pleased, angry, confused, tired, surprised, irritated. Nice. Very nice. I have nothing to say. Very good. Very good. This is like Valhalla worthy character sheet. <laughs> uh, he's a detective. Nice. Yeah, I really like it. Very cool. Boom. Chrono. Nice. Pose. Exploration of color combination. Very valuable to include. A little explorational sheet in terms of gesture. I like that too. Uh, let's, let's zoom in a little bit on that thing because I think this thing deserves that. Um, uh, hair variations. I think this is like first exploration in terms of values. I like that. Exploration of poses before this she starts. 
little thumbnails and I think this is the this is just overall explorations maybe of her I'm not sure what this is maybe those are just gestures or you know construction explorations of her poses but overall really cool when you're gonna dive in into the you can already have a turnaround if you want you can do kind of like a three quarters but this is already enough um another thing that i really like that you put out you know this super awesome belongs to kit and this is super valuable like i have no question about how this character functions i see that you thought about everything in advance and this is a conscious choice that came from a background of brainstorming so for clients it's amazing to look at this kind of stuff because they see that it's not just a decision in terms of like this looks cool but it's like it fits the character the best because you explored all of this before that same thing here and like that you included a turnaround here of the face very nice very solid very cool guys you know where are you you're right here watch and learn <laughs> um all right let's see not sure what her name is but i like it oh, hello um turn around with code without code super solid face included turnaround solid silhouette really like it just overall a solid character you know very nice there's nothing i can say about it um one thing when you start doing you know the facial expression sheet and her mannerisms she looks very kind of like closed off a little bit so maybe she's shy so maybe go an extra mile to see what kind of range of emotion she goes into in your next homework but overall very solid very cool and nice let's look at this a little bit closer because this one and another one was very nice i really like the line work very cool. Not sure what the difference here is. I like your t her tattoos start glowing green. I'm sure what the difference is here. <laughs> um, just from the you know just from the color palette, I can see that she's kind of like some uh, rogue elf ranger hunter. Her voice appears in the shape of a black wolf hiding her face because of the marks got it but you know doesn't do a really good job <laughs> fighting her face because of the marks um yeah one thing if if your character has any kind of forms of transformation or anything similar to that it would be amazing to include to include transformations right so if if, if this is a very you know um, important character trait in terms of like she turns into a wolf i would highly recommend to, to show either her transformation animation or how she looks as a wolf if you want to do a transformation animation that would be super valuable because again hrs will see like oh she's a great character designer she keeps animation in mind and then she's a pretty good like, animal slash creature designer uh, but overall very good and i like that you made a uh, a bowl um design call out so that's great very nice all right next and you know what i want to show you a little bit up close this thing because you can see a person paid attention to detail all right you got it cool <laughs> just want to try to give justice to your hard work guys all right lilu nice nice little girl i like it a lot um all right with this one i think that the character itself can be pushed a little bit more um so for example um because she's like a cute girl and right now just pay attention to the structure of the skull itself um, and make sure that 
everything everything can be described as a as a simple shape because right now the eyes just a little bit crooked so like just put down this thing Oops, you know maybe we'll have a little bit more of a thing here well even though she's it's covered by uh that's because uh, I'm covered by a hair strain but she she's like she's looking a little bit it has to be like a little bit of a skull here there's a little bit of a skull here and there's gonna be a little bit more hair in the back but she's looking at front it's like she's looking to the side and in front at the same time i know this is a problem even for me why because we always used to look at characters in the front view right this is you guys reacting that is 30 minutes till <laughs> deadline and when we do like a like a character turnaround we like the face of the character is turning this way but all we do is like we do the same thing and we just draw a character looking forward so just overall look at some reference like let's say Lilo and stitch um because this I think in terms of style needs to be a little bit pushed a little bit further. One thing that I want to say though, that I really like your color palettes that you chose for this character. I really like the combination of orange and yellow, but also I like blue. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's very, it's very nice color wise and your, uh, your turnaround was also pretty good. Just, you know, just, just, remember about structure because let's say for for example here it looks like her elbow is like here and then her arm here is too it's too long compared to like let's say this one here because we can even just you know translate this here and in all of your see we just make make a line and, and then we can already see that um, her arm here was like here. And I think her elbow just needs to get, yeah, something like this, plus minus. Um, but another thing is, yeah, I like her very puffy sweater thing. It's very nice. Um, yeah just you know find some reference and and see the stylization style of everything whoops um they're all very good just you know structure of the face because we don't have time too much to start fixing it and yeah just you know simplify everything to simple shape so if, if this was like a square Right, she'll have like a more of the back head. Um, but if she's looking to the side, that this is a little bit too in the front, right? So yeah, just you know, more structure, more more reference. Um, but overall, very good, very good. Okay, sorry for the sound. My wife is exiting the garage it looks like she's just pushing the button goes <laughs> um yeah sorry for the noise da -da 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 -da. oh come on garage door finally all right what is his name akuf annoying curious um unlucky unlucky spelled with a u but it's okay i spell exactly like this fellow hated Hate it? I don't know. Not sure what this says, but I understand the rest. Really cool style. Um, I really like this, um, you know, level of, I really like the, you know, the brush strokey lines. Overall, very good. And I like that the, the in front, front and back. And I like that he feels like a real grand character. Everything in him screams that it's functional, you know, a little bit of a mask because I'm pretty sure he lives in some kind of like a deserty thing, like a improvised belt, um, and nothing, nothing else. 
and then the radio itself and the backpack super cool you know this is more than enough for 3d modelers to start modeling him one thing just you know pay attention to your hands from the back you know if you want to push it to the extreme because you know you can just see that you know i'll just show you a little trick guys i'm not sure if you know this trick i hope you do um but if you don't know it you know enjoy so when we're doing like a turnaround right um and then you have like the front if you have the front of the character so let's say for example we have lulu lilu lilu and stitch <laughs> so let's say we have lilu right the only thing that we'll have to do with lilu is basically is just you know put in her her hair back and just you know just put this so basically in your front you already have the back all you have to do is just you know back you know draw the back of the of the hands for example uh, so same thing with this thing so all you have to do is just you know you, maybe you already did it but this is for people who don't know this trick right so if you want to have hands that look good so you know just copy paste your old hands in like this right and then all you have to do is just make those into um into fingers um yeah something like this so for you people yeah that's the process if you have the front you basically have the back all you have to do is just fill in the blanks um yeah but overall very good character design i really like it i really like it i like the helmet style it's, it has this kind of like star wars feel to it all right let's see this beginning of the story very samurai jack very 2d friendly i think very cool we disassembled the arm that's another side he doesn't have an eye i really really like it it's like a belt um very good very cool i think this is more than enough um and then this is kind of like after final battle oh cool so you included two types of transformations or two types of um, the, um two types of um, state of body state um i would just make sure that you know maybe his sword gets damaged because he gets damaged 100 percent, but his sword stays the same so why not maybe include some kind of like i don't know a break off or some chips in if you want to but overall very good don't don't have much to say about it very i like the shapes there's like one thing that i might say that you know um there's such a thing as big medium small rule in character designs and that means that when you when you have anything like let's say his hair um i would just simplify things into a minimal aspects like for example this like this looks good right it's as good as the other one so like maybe just you know just have one spike for example why because again character designers will have to animate all of those spikes so if you can just merge as much as possible so this can be just you know bigger this can be one spike right why make two if you can just make one spike um and same thing here like maybe you know maybe do something like this for example just have one strain of hair because the thing is this will be easier to animate and if you can get your headspace in that that would be great so for example here's there's two spikes right just one, two, one big one, right? Um, you have two lines here, make it into one. You have a line here, does it, does it, do we really need it? Yes, we do need it. Like, 
make it one. Same thing here. Um, so try to think about shape economy because this is very 2D heavy, right? Um, and always ask like, is it is it needed there? Is that is it not needed? Is it is it not needed there? Um, by the way, the big, medium, small things like when you are drawing anything, you should have variation of of these shapes, big, medium, small, right? Because things like we're doing here, right? We have like right, big, medium, small. If we do, um, you know, if we, if we do a branch, right? Big, medium, small, right? If we do a fire, you know, it's gonna be all, it's, it, it, this, this rule is like, it can be applied anywhere. So yeah, overall, very good character design. Uh, very nice, very cool, good job. All right. <laughs> How cute you? <laughs> very cute bear, I really like it. Very nice, very cool. Um, nothing to say, honestly. This could be like a game game design bear. It could be modeled. It's maybe a little bit too complex for 2D animation, traditional, but it can be animated in like After Effects or, or um, what's that, Spine. So we're all very good. I really like it. You have just color wise, I really like it. You have like a warm base and then you have a highlight blue color. So now we look at, at his eye. The only thing that I would say, just maybe if you want to be like a big character designer, then maybe um, include some variations if you want to. But if you don't, you know, just focus on, on his, um, you know, um, Hmm. on his uh, poses in there next one and I'm not sure what his facial expressions will be it'll be interesting to see how you'll tackle this but they're all very good very cool his name is plush <laughs> very yeah very clean very nice <laughs> it looks like the artist who did this uh, who did this that uh, Tanya yeah um, spent so much time on everything and then Oh, I need to name it. And then this took like two seconds. Plush. <laughs> but it's okay. I do that all the time. Very nice. Very cool. Good job. Nice. I really like Brustrokey. Thingy Magic who did this. Hirt. 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 Sorry. Um, yeah. Very cool. Very nice. Already went for um, character expressions in exploration, back and front. Um, very nice. Um, right now, it's very stylized in terms of like breast strokiness and stuff, but it's more than enough as a concept. So, see, guys, you're not bound to one style. Um, this can be taken anywhere you want. Um, yeah. I really like it. Very nice. Very cool. Do I have anything to say for it? Mm. No, I don't. Besides that, um, it's really cool. And then you should guys learn from it in terms of like silhouette is nice. Um, you can see puffy shapes. You can see straight shapes. You can see color variation. You see interesting rhythm in the hair. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure about is it's about the, the shape of the hair. This is a very interesting shape and I'm, I'm thinking if it can be simplified into something even a more joint, right? But as you can see, it's, it's kind of important that, that for you that she has, yeah, three strands here, two strands here. Yeah, overall very good, I like it. It's just for me, the hair, especially this and that, could sometimes distract because if we if we would squint our eyes and we look at the sh hair shape, the hair shape might distract from the face, um, shape design wise. So for example, if we even like, if we cut away this hair strain, we'll focus more onto her face. And we don't want to distract from the face, right? But again, I might be wrong. This is subjective, um, but overall very good. I really like this one. All right. 
Here's one of my main characters, Ravenna and her little crow. <laughs> Very nice. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I know it's really hard. Like, this is one character. This is character number two. And this is character number three. And this is her turnaround. I know that doing turnarounds is very complicated, right? To, exp to explain my point, right? When we do turnarounds and, you know, I give you a pass because I never taught you, taught you guys how to do turnarounds. Um, usually gen general rule of thumb is that you just, you know, you just create a line that goes across. So this is like, this is under the nose. And for the most part, it checks out, right? But here, it looks like you have too much of a indent into her face. It's like almost like, like she, she became a horse. Um, like, and, and here, you don't see this kind of an indent. So it looks like that's why this character looks different from this character, because her nose is much bigger. So maybe if you just make it smaller, but no, that's not really it, right? You need to figure out what, what, what is the shape of her face is, right? And I don't think she's, she's like, she's so, her eyes are so into this thing. So it's probably gonna be something like this, right? So it's in, in, in harmony with your three quarters view. Right, um, because yeah, her jawline is just too in front. But overall, very nice. Just you know, finish it. I really like her poncho. I like her little um, crow feather color palette. It's very you know muted. I like that. But I would just have an accent color because you know we need to um. We need to keep our characters interesting where to look at, right? And of course she has eyes and eyes are interesting, but like, oh, this is kind of like uh, the walking the walking castle type of style of feathers. But let's say this cheek is a little bit distracting, just looks like a splotch, right? So like what I would do is maybe, and again, like if it's for 2D animation, this splotch is gonna be too complex. So I would just keep out of it. And then for the accent color, you know, just maybe, just, you know, maybe do like colored red beat, um, what's what you call it, the little, the star color things that go on, on the hair. Um, or maybe something here uh, or, or there, you know, just, just something to catch an eye on to. Uh, even though it's the head, I know, but I, I just feel that as the main character, she needs to be <coughs> Sorry, she just needs to be a little bit more um, a little bit more Interesting Not in terms of that. She doesn't look interesting, but in terms of uh, a pop, you know a focal point, you know um, What can it be? Uh, <laughs> Maybe like a, you know, like a, like a, like a red feather, maybe, you know, or, you know, maybe a red tattoo, just, just something, you know, but overall it still can pass as a good design, honestly, um, just depends, but there just needs to be a little bit of a color pop just 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 somewhere like it could be on the shoulders could be blue or red just anything just a little bit you know just a little bit but overall very nice very cool i like i like the crow <laughs> right um we have to speed up probably a little bit still drafts of my protagonist nice it's uh it's a very cool night very nice very nice very cool Power explored. You know, there are some variations of the character without. Oh, it's a woman. Okay. Uh, without a. Um, without a hand. From Scholar to Mercy and Quenchable Ambition 
precision trumps power. I'll do it with my own. Very cool. Very nice. So you understand your character very well. The only thing that is like, it would be nice to have a punch in of a face and just show, you know, just show the facial expression of the character. Because right now it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a knight. Um, nothing just, yeah, everything screams at night, you know, and I just want to see the face of the character. I'm not sure if you included the face of the character, maybe beneath somewhere. <laughs> no. Yeah. So overall, very cool, very modern day Jamesy style of uh, armor. Um, yeah. Silhouette is awesome. Very cool. Um, I like that she went through color exploration. So now it's time to like, how the hell does her face look? You know, and that's very important because right now this just reads as, you know, generic knight design, even though it's cool, but it just reads as a knight. Um, so it's nice to see the main protagonist maybe without the armor on. That would be great. <coughs> Need some water. But they're all very cool. Very cool. <coughs> right, next. The lizard man. Nice, silhouettes explored. Turn around done. Garage door open. Sorry guys. Ooh. I'm not sure if you can hear the garage door, but I'm sitting in unison with it. And now it's gonna be closing. Work out that fit. Very nice, very cool, super cool shapes. Lurk in the woods outfit, super nice. So person, you know, Sveta is exploring everywhere. Very nice, very nice, very cool, very solid. You know, I love it. Nothing to say, color, color that if you want to. Um, if you have the time, because I want to see how it would look colored. But even without color, just as a character design sheet, and then you just have keyframes on top of that, it will look good. It will look good. So, very nice. Can you, can you guys hear the garage door? Or not? I'm just, I'm just curious. Because <laughs> I do have, um, I do have, uh, oh, yep, you can, you can hear it. Because I do have the, um, what do you call it? The noise reduction. All right, very cool. Very nice. Good job. Rest good tomorrow. You earned it. All right. Stain. Elf story. Very cool. Very cool. He's like... <laughs> he's very cute as a baby. I understand he's like trying to show that he has a beard, even though he doesn't. Yeah, cool. So it turned around. One thing I noticed about, you know, Elena, Lena, you know, you are great at proportions and everything else, but your characters in terms of flow and in terms of gesture feel a little bit stiff, just a little bit stiff, you know, like it would be great if you could have just, you know, went, you know, I, I really want to prescribe you like five, 30 minute gesture drawings um, with with a, with a team because like like for example here like this pose is fine this pose is fine but it's like it would be great if you could you know push it because it looks like he's a you know a very cheerful lad you know that is is always in trouble here and there so you know maybe pop his chest a little bit out you know and that he's conf and he's confident, right? Maybe, you know, hmm. what should you do? This, this looks awesome. But if, by the way, if this is a turnaround, I'm not sure what his, what his leg is a little bit like this. <laughs> I think it just should be placed on the ground normally. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Remember when we talked about gravity and this, like this? Maybe that's why I don't like, you know, just, just make it a little bit. more interesting so it's not just goes whoop so it has a little bit of a form here and there you know this thing can mimic this thing so yeah there's one thing just you're lacking a little bit of flow in your character just not character design probably pose in the character design is good i like it um you know but one thing like this looks like every very like 2d animation orientated um i would just look at you know shows like vox machina character designs let me see if we could see something you know um not in terms of maybe the proportions because the proportions can be you know varied from time to time but if you are see if you are orientated for 2d like look at their hair you know look at their hair it's it's all conjoined there's there's not much separation in it because as 2d animators they will have to animate everything by hand so for example here in those little strains it's too much you know you can merge all of this and just have one maybe max two lines for example right yeah just you know google vox machina um and just get some inspiration from it. It's a, it's a pretty good uh, visual wise show. I haven't seen all of it, so I'm not sure if it's story wise also good, but overall very good, very nice. I really like that you thought of the entire story, how he became who he is now. <laughs> so um, yeah, good job. Man, if I'm gonna go like this, I'm not gonna make anything in time. All right, let's go, speed run it, you can do it. Um, pick. let's, let's what, look at the original of this thing. Very cool. Um, if you guys remember when we talked about shape design, I really like the shape separation here. Triangle, circular, circular, kind of like square, like, but rounded and then triangle, triangle. At the same time, there's some round things here and Again, curve, straight, curve, straight, curved. It's just a very nice flowing dynamic design. So very nice, very cool. Um, and this is like a second character, I guess, compared to the to the girl character. Um, yeah, very cool. Minimal. I just from the character designs that they're together, I can see like this guy's like, what the hell is happening? Um, yeah, maybe add another ear because, oh, this is like three quarters. It's okay. Um, yeah, he's like, he's just a normal dude. Not very rich, you know, and she's probably just like, hey, you want to see some magic? Yeah, very cool. Nothing to say. Uh, facial expressions, nice. Um, just curious to see um, your uh, gesture sheet. Um, I like it. And then the call out for design, also very cool. All right. Senior truck buck. <laughs> I'm truck buck. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Pretty solid for you know, for your for your style of of the illustration. I think I remember your keyframe. Um, this is very nice, very cool. You know, facial expression already there. You explored a little bit of um the head items i really like that and a little bit of expressions too i like the truck butt he's kind of like a pegasus slash horse mike wazowski <laughs> overall very nice very cool uh character turnaround nice oh you even did it like anatomy stuff like it expressions and just exploration mm-hmm both two is it evil? Question mark. Hmm. All right. With this thing, 
like I see a lot of structure, a lot of thought put into it. Um, there's a little bit of like maybe execution lacking in terms of like fundamentals, but the idea is there and it's very cool. I like it. I like that like expressions or thought and actual lighting. I, I would just give one advice maybe to um, August students, you know, maybe keep it simple, you know, maybe just keep it in mind work and just flat colors because I can see you are basically trying to maybe balance out your, you know, maybe let's say lack of shape design or lack of proportions or structure here and there with other skills that are pretty good like value and then lighting and it's awesome but i would really recommend sticking with one way of executing your character like only line and flat colors for example so you can focus on one thing which is just the proportions just the gesture and everything else and you're not going to be tempted to add value for the sake of making it look presentable and good because i remember when i was you know just starting out so i reach out for a cookie when i was just starting out um i haven't eaten breakfast and when i was just starting out i would i would think that concept art is beautiful pictures that look like a crazy scientist, you know, notes or blueprints. But I uh, mean, thing is, right? I mean, main thing is, it's, it's, it's structure functionality. We don't need to present the character design sheet. And then it just, the character design sheet is like a masterpiece of itself that you frame it. Character design sheet is there to explore your character in terms of structure, proportion, everything else. And you do have that, like for example, the bottom right one, I really like the bottom right one. It's really cool and super solid. But the rest, it looks like you're distracted by value, distracted by color, distracted by everything else. And if it distracts you, just, you know, cut it out. So I would just, I would just at the beginning, start with something simple, like line work and flat colors. And that'd be like, for example, if I saw the bottom row in line work, there's no difference between line work for me and value and line work is easier to do and faster to do than do everything in value. So he, 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 here's you maybe getting afraid of pushing further and <clears throat> incorporating structure to all of this. <clears throat> Sorry guys. And um, you decided like, well, I don't want to do that. So I'll just do values instead of just good in line work. So yeah, keep it simple. But overall, it's a nice, I like it. I like it, just looks like you just need to find your way, your pipeline, because I see you like, oh, I like value, I like color also, and I like this, like that, and it just, you're just going all over, right? But overall, I like pose two a lot. Pose one is a little bit stiff, he's kind of like, did you take the picture? And he just looks to the side, because he's posing, trying to like, hold the moon or the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, the question is going to be come afterwards, guys. I can't really answer them. Sorry, but just for Lena, because I saw it. Um, uh, yeah, you can do more dynamic poses, um, for homework six. I'm just saying that your turnaround just overall looked a little bit stiff in terms of like design, because for example, this looks pretty dynamic and it flows, even though the character is just standing still and then your character is standing still, it's still a little bit dynamic, but there's something lacking. Um, but overall, very good. Okay, very, very nice pirate guy. Just again, structure, line work, flat colors. All right, let's see. This is like a keyframe type of a deal. Um, okay, very simple. Does she have no hands? Or you didn't just you didn't just you didn't draw hands. I'm not sure what this is. Um, yeah, this just is just a little bit unfinished. It needs to be pushed more. Um, I don't I don't really like 
feedback in unfinished work because like you're not judging anything you're, you're judging the um you know it's unfinished overall it's a nice start like the character feels very terrified is she like she has like spider legs growing out of her back and she's like concealing it with her cape and maybe that's why it's a guess so see i just need more information to understand what's going on on the page hey nice panda dude super cool super nice look at evan amundsen and how he paints things and then last time we were looking at you know just overall painting styles not when when we went over character design um character design lecture the basics of character creation go in there and look at some reference that i showed there was like this one panda looking thing and if you want you can just push this even more but overall really nice very cool steve slayer model sheet <laughs> i really like this one it's nice it's solid shape designs are very fun um very kind of like samurai jack e style one thing i'm not sure if it's needed to shade him that much you know if it's for because it looks very i don't know for 2d animation this looks too there's too many tattoos on him right so if this just is exploration 2d you know just you know figure out for what pipeline this is are they going to model him you know are they not going to model him is it is it going to be 2d it's going to be 3d and then adjust accordingly but overall even if you just hand this to anybody um they would probably be able to 2d animate him and maybe if someone did some kind of like a more polished pass um they would have you know <clears throat> they would have been able to model it too in terms of like there's one thing that a little bit bothers me it's like remember when we talked about the uh, the shapes here and like over here it's not rounded enough like i just wanted to maybe see like over here like a straight uh, in between the forearm and, and the shoulder just to break out this a little kind of like tension um it's not it's not that big of a deal in other ones it looks good um but yeah this is like a micro you know micro thought for me but overall i like it a lot um cool i have nothing to say here very nice try a try a bengal dude looks like a half if, if if a triangle and a carrot had a baby it would be try a bengal <laughs> I really like it. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah, there's just sometimes there's just nothing to say. You know, besides maybe for color palette, you know, figure out what his backpack is. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you're going to finish it further on. Uh, yeah, very cool. Very cool. I like it. Very nice, Nicole. Uh all right cool it's like uh i remember the the keyframes for that a slave boy running away very cool very solid yeah just add color push it further i want to see a little bit more than just pure line work or at least you know fill in the silhouette with with the color white for example so it pops out because presentation guys like extra kudos to people who you know spend extra time for presentation to make it look nice i as a feedback giver appreciate it a lot and you know your clients will do that too so do pay extra attention to presentation because usually just doing something on a, on a, on a, on a gray box because i know it's probably a vip right this is um uh, yeah yeah, because this is this is still in progress, but just for everybody, just you know, make sure that um, you pay attention to presentation. Yeah, like for example here, you know, I'll just I'll add a a light here and just do a gradient here. It looks nice. Um, I love the design in flat colors, but I see that this um, this artist is shading everything with pure black on multiply or pure black with overlay. 
and that creates very muddy colors and overall like I like the flat color variation of this more than the one with tone. So for future reference, when we have upcoming weeks, pay extra attention to um, color and light lecture um, because you will need it. Like I would even say, yeah, yeah. Because I try avoiding multiply as a shading, but overall very nice D design aspect wise, very cool. Right, super cool, epic character, lots of variations. Uh, it's kind of like if, if Frozen entered a Viking show, that was, that's how she would look like. Very icy, very, very nice. I have nothing to say, honestly. It's very cool, really great. Um, good job. You know, this is very valuable. This is a design sheet and it will be appreciated by potential clients to do any kinds of character designs here and there. Oh, what the hell, there's more. Holy crap. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys, we uh we have a we have a hard worker here. Let's go. Very nice, very cool. Again, nothing to say. As a character design, this is awesome. Lots of exploration in terms of how much detail is put in where and what his outfit looks like. Looks like the person went an extra mile. I really appreciate it. Um, more, another character. Super cool, full turnaround on face and, and more explorations of the outfit. Super solid, very nice. <clears throat> and another one, another character. Super solid, super nice, very nice. Okay, so this is, I guess, in color now, right? Character action silhouettes, nice. I guess she likes her spear a lot. Very nice, custom color process. Okay, very fiery chick. Mm-hmm, ink stained hands, okay. Yeah, your line work is amazing. And then when it comes to shading and coloring, then you have a little bit of trouble. So design wise, super great, super amazing. And uh, you know what, after all of this, maybe you just ran out of time and you just needed to color something really quickly. I don't blame you. Uh, it's very, very solid. You did like, I have no idea. Um, hope it was just done, you know, for the duration of the week, but that's a lot of work. Um, yeah, and then, and then some color exploration of this. Even even uh, a call out of how the skull looks underneath. That's super cool, super solid. Uh, east of the sun, west of the moon project. Before the assignment there, you relevant to... Ah, okay. Last three I had finished before the assignment, they're relevant to my story with the hand and threw them up here. Last three, so one, two, three. That was done, I guess post or previously and then this for but anyway other than less a person did way more than i asked for and that's a good trait that's very commendable because when you do more than you asked for um you're gonna be priceless very nice shape very cool character um like painting wise maybe needs a little bit of love here and there but overall it's understandable i like it Right, my head hurts from the earphones. Oh, I need to massage my ears. <clears throat> right, let's see this. Okay, let's see. Cool, some kind of like, um, Masked pirate, pilot, bird, person with a stick or a gun. Cool exploration of, you know, gestures. You probably have two kids, maybe? Turn around. 
playing with proportions. I guess those are the wings in the back. Moth equals okay. Regular didn't want shoes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like it. There's one question. Like I, I don't understand the functionality of the wings. Is it, is it like, is it other mechanical? Are they actual moth wings, or they're like cape wings? Because, um, the character needs to be a little like this is the red cape, right? I'm not sure. Is it. Is it actual moth wings or is it just a cape, All right? But they're all really good. And I like, like, but one thing is that I would not show everything. So the thing is, even in our character design sheet, we need to have some kind of sort of composition and emphasis. All of this are nice notes and very interesting. Like say, for example, I like this one, but when you are posting your design sheet on your art station, you need to have like, your focal points, like for example, let's let's show that one that because it's a pretty um, experienced artist, like this one or or this one, right? So like everything else is in blue pencil because it's irrelevant. It's not as important as the main character. The main character is in color, so look at this, please. And then next to her is a turnaround. That's the biggest one after her, but it's not in color. So you're like, oh, so that's how she looks in front and that's how she looks in the back, same colors. Right, and then you go to do this thing. So every time when, I know that this is just, you know, it's, it's part of the assignment and you might organize everything later, right? But, but, but even here, like, she's like emphasizing that here is the dominant thing, subdominant and then everything else exploration. And this is, so, make sure when you're doing a design sheet, right? If so this is in color, you pay attention to it. So you emphasize something, then everything else is just supporting there. Um, because if you just, like all of this stuff can just be on a separate page as notes, and then you just need to your main character design spreadsheet for everyone to view, which is your portfolio piece. Because just imagine you hand all of this to the 3D team or 2D team, they're like, they're like, well, is it this or is it, is it this or is it like this? Like, are they say, the same character or are they not, right? There's a lot of things like, I know there's a lot of things going through your head, but, you know, try to, you know, try to figure out how to pay attention to one single thing. Uh, oh, they use capes to fly, okay. Well, if that's important to the story, show how they use capes to fly, for example. So, and again, like for me, when I do a character design, I'm like, okay, this is my final character design up top. I color it, maybe I do like a turnaround where I do one single image and then everything next is next to it. And then if I need to do design callouts or animation callouts, I'll show like one frame, but it's gonna be probably in gestures when I'm gonna be doing gestures for it, for this thing. Um, the character can be flying with, with the cape and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I like the character. I just spilled out, spit out a, a little cookie. But it's nice to fix in advance. So everything that you explain in your character sheet is not too much and it's simple. So like a, a baby can understand it. All right, next. We're, we're one quarter, one third through. Right, character for 2D animation. Characters are a real struggle for me. I feel like he's not interesting enough and has no personality. I disagree with you. This is very nice character and very good for 2D animation. Passionate and motivated, but can come across as stubborn. Has a hard time seeing other people's perspective. Protective, looks out for his friends. Hmm. I kind of like that, like, for example, in your character design, like, he has, like, this blue amulet that kind of is calming and nice, but at the same time, he has some kind of, like, orange-red things that just point to his fiery side. And I think his design is, like, you kind of have this kind of fire-looking things. He's going to be a pain in the butt to animate in 2D, by the way. But it is possible. So, um, but you have enough, you, like, you simplified everything else. Um, I would just maybe, no, it's good. It's good. And turnaround's great. Um, 
you know, I disagree with you that he doesn't have a personality because you can have personality. Again, sometimes in anime, you look at a, you look at a character and you would never would guess that this character would have had that voice or those kind of emotions because sometimes, you know, yes, character design should try to, you know, show everything, but sometimes voice acting and acting of the character, it's what brings the most through uh, the design. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna sit today for a while here. It's already one been one hour. I think we're gonna be here for another an hour and a half, another one. <laughs> so brace yourselves, get some cookies. You know, we are um, on a marathon. But I wanna get through, you know, I promise I'll do just five. I'll try to get through everything. All right, finish your turnaround, roll. Okay, cool, cool. If it's for 2D animation, I would get rid of those crosses in her hair. Um, but overall, for some kind of kids show, very nice, very cool. I like it. Very simple. No nose. Maybe that's okay for the style of the show. Sometimes people do that. I'll still add it. I would maybe still add a nose. I don't know. She kind of looks like a like a child of Voldemort without a nose. You know, it's possible in, in, in certain shows, but I would add a nose. I don't know. But overall, I need to know more about the world and what the context of the show is. But for 2D, yeah, this could work 100%. 100%. Very nice. All right. Bio Xiongyang. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. If I, if I butchered it, I'm sorry. Cool, 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 cool. Olma from Dalong Clan leader has a motorcycle. I see photo bashing. He didn't draw this motorcycle. Cheating. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's okay to do that. Um, it's okay to do that. Right, nunchucks. Right, nunchucks. Cool. And alternative, um, alternative clothing. Nice. I like it. Super cool. Very nice. But next time, you know, hide your photo batch better. <laughs> uh, I think you missed the very first one on all channel was Batsy Cat and he didn't repost it. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you for telling me this. Let me just go and homework finished old. I'll just try. If anyone just can, you know, maybe tag me and link me to that character design. That would be awesome because I'm not sure if there's any way I can figure out where is what. So if anyone just can, you know, maybe copy paste it and send it to me, you can DM it to me if I missed anything from homework finished the previously one. Um, oh no, I don't, I don't know where I'm at now anymore. Okay, going back, we're going back, going back, man. Guys, you are so productive. Very nice. So much stuff. Okay. I didn't have a time to cover him. It's okay. There's one thing. I saw this guy. He looks fun, but from far away, it looks like he's flipping someone off. You know? <laughs> With the flask. So maybe, you know, I don't know. Um, it looks like he doesn't have a really good grasp on the flex. So I'll just do that. But overall, not big deal. Kind of looks like junk rat. <laughs> looks like a looks like a, if junk rat was a scientist back in the days and then something happened to him and he became junk rat uh in overwatch yeah oh emily sylvia how can i be in that channel discord uh so the only thing that you need to do is you just need to click on the in description of the youtube video um or join yeah there's there's a link to oh i deleted it i think um anyone is feel free or oh, you know what i'll just do it i'll just go and 
invite people right now to our Discord. Okay. Um, let me open this thing and just do this. So yeah, if anyone is not part of our Discord community, no Discord link in disk today. What? I don't understand. So anyways, for people who don't see those homework channels, you're supposed to agree to, I think, some kind of rules when you just pop out on the Discord and then you could be given a role of um, of a Viking student level one and then you, you see those channels. Yeah, so anyways, hopefully that explains the thing. Yeah, overall very nice, very cool. Um, hmm. Just, you know, wrap it up, finish it up, color it. Very nice. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing to say. Super cool. Very nice. Huge lady. Maybe her boots are too huge here. Because, of, for example, here, her head is smaller. Here, it's bigger. Yeah. But overall, it's okay. This is just me. No nitpicking. I love it. I like that too. Very nice. Okay. Ryan. He likes gold. The cool. And all the other characters. Okay. One thing that I want to say. You're using like airbrushes and you're doing everything soft edge. I don't know. It's not good. It's not good to only use soft airbrushes because you get this kind of like ethereal, very glossy look. So I would really recommend switching to a harder edge brush, you know, and doing everything with that. Because I think the reason why you like airbrush is because it's very forgiving. It's like, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know. Is it, is it this shape? Is it not this shape? You know? So try to use hard edge brush more. Um, yeah. But overall, I really like their designs. Color wise, super cool. Color might need a little bit because like this looks like leather. I'm not sure if it's leather or not. He's like very glossy. So pay extra attention to maybe, um, uh, color and light lecture when when I gonna when it's gonna be out. But overall, nice. You designed three characters instead of one. You should be proud of yourself. Very nice. Oh, a dark lord becomes the darkest in the galaxy. A conqueror. No devourer. No, a devourer of worlds. Invincible and terrifying. At least according to the polls. <laughs> I like it. Very nice to the animation of the. The person, Slava, who did that is like, I think he already knows this character very well and he has his own idea of it, of the show. It's, it's very, <clears throat> it's very simple, which is nice. And it's hard to create things like that. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Final Space by, um, what's his name? Mm, I don't remember that his name is Recreate, but super cool. Very nice. I love it. Um, Okay, hell yeah, Vikings. Octon Thunder Thunderson. Cool. Very nice. And Gundar and Delhi. Del Deltem? Not sure. Uh, seeking homework five. Viking the continues to inspire us. Call so much effort and good work. Contribute here. Mission Team Iraq. Thank you. Thank you. Did you hear the team? We're awesome. We're cool. All right, facial expressions. This is the very nice, very cool. Now, I see that you're very precious about your characters and I can see you trying to do everything, you know, you know, the right way, but you know, don't be too precious, precious about everything. Just, you know, loosen up a little bit. Um, I love that. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Pow. Charge. Boom. Very nice. Swipe. 
Very nice gesture. It's love it. Cool. Nice. Magic rope. It'll be nice to see them in color. It's it's so interesting. Like your line work is very, very, you know. Um cool and awesome. This is like an African Viking. Why is there <laughs> why is there uh <clears throat> why is there a pine uh, you know tropical trees in the background so confused like i can tell you this you have very solid line work i really like it. it's very gestural very cool very awesome but something happens to you when you go and you start covering <coughs> sorry guys and um yeah solid shape languages and silhouettes that i really like pretty solid kind of like you know where everything goes and yada 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 and this is super cool but then when you start coloring something happens to you so you know what just you know keep maybe keep your project with just flat colors for now just don't go into don't go too much into muscles and everything else just you know flat color everything um yeah but very solid very cool very cool very nice um i like it a lot okay irina hello irina so cool nice nice and simple it works i love when people just do you know just flat colors um i like just flat colors in general very nice very cool main character cool hey more vikings super nice solid understandable shapes are great broken father sword nice i understand this pop this guy probably gonna die just gonna revenge him maybe i don't know I like it. Very nice, Max. Okay, let's see. Tumbleweed. My life was too big, so I had to break into two pictures. I'm super proud of this character. Turn around, I haven't done one before, so I'm proud of results. I'm sorry if I pushed myself to something new. Nice. Of course, it can work in proportion, but I'm just happy I was about to finish it. Very nice, very cool. All right, skin, clothes awesome yeah the turnaround matches very nice part one out of two cool nice she's kind of like a tree tree lady type of a deal very nice very cool you know um one thing that i'll tell you like you're trying to do form and stuff i would just you know keep everything simple just not to get overwhelmed a little bit and just just do only line work and flat colors and just pull it in uh yeah hi what's happening we're doing a homework assignment feedback which is part of our visual development camp thingamajig so yeah all right next very nice good job tumbleweed <clears throat> Okay, cool, next. A vampire dude, super cool, very nice. Nothing to say besides maybe color choices for the background, just, you know, the pink, the pink and the blue. Maybe it's, maybe it's subjective, but character design itself, I love it a lot. There's nothing else to say, very kind of like Tim Burton-y type of a style, a friendly vampire. I'm not sure if those are birthmarks or pimples but i like it very nice all right pencil woods this looks like lord farquad <laughs> a little bit i will probably ignore the bottom ones because i know those are those are just very rough sketches just work on presentation a little bit for your portfolio on our station right because um yeah because I don't see his face very clearly. It's he's too super, super far away. The turnaround was good, but I can't really see what this is. It just needs a little bit more polish and a little bit more, uh, you know, push. Um, yeah. Oh, in addition, some animation. Die. <laughs> die then you will, or you will die then. I'm not sure where it, where it starts. Very nice. Very cool. You know, extra 
points for animation. Hey, and then I will also animated it. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Having fun. Destroying, destroying your homework assignment in a good way. All right. So this was a little bit more challenging because the main character is basically a weird, weird fire spirit thing. All right. So levitation, compositive, defensive, and offensive. Cool. So that's how he looks when he fights. There's a seed inside. Bearer of the seed, placeholder V effects. Okay, cool. Yeah, I always struggle with those kind of like ethereal, not very connected to a real person character designs. Head V effects, cool. Dash V effects. As I understand, you kind of want to go for like maybe like riot games type of things here. So this is very nice and cool. Um, bent material metal. metal pieces on one high tech. So what I would do is like, for sure, include one big sheet of what the character looks like up close, because for me, all this looks like a, a bunch of colors and fire, right? So another thing that I would do, even though this is really cool and interesting, because you're trying to create a character that basically is like formless and weird, and doesn't connect to be a human, even though he has two legs, I would maybe turn like, you know, those side things. I know you'd wanted to turn them into hands, but I would have made them look more like hands and maybe had some shoulder things or something because like, it's hard to, for a human to connect to a, a character if he doesn't look like a human or like a character. You know what I'm saying? So maybe have fiery arms, right? And then everything is around him. Just, just a little bit more connection to, to us as humans. Um, yeah, was someone was someone was someone misbehaving? misbehaving? Um, thanks, Julie. All right, next one. Next one. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hawthorne, Ivan the Thorn. Ooh, nice animation. Super cool. Very nice. This is great. Uh, turn around. Very solid shapes. Um, really good for 2D animation. In the background, as I can see, there's a little bit of flowers. They, a little bit in terms of tone, they get, you know, they get lost. So maybe make them lighter, you know. Uh, but overall, solid character design, you yeah. know. Very nice. Next. Main character. Hermit, outcast, hunter and warrior, monster hunter, sullen, grumpy, trying to look bigger, scarier than she is. Yeah, pretty accurate. Um, very nice. I like the thingy. Oh, you did some wear, wear and tear onto her thing. And you also included with and without the thing on. Really nice, very cool. Just later on, I know you were probably rushing just to submit it. Just, you know, um, work on presentation later on when, when you get the chance. Uh, we'll we'll have a separate lecture and everything to um <laughs> sorry guys for the garage door um ooh, ooh. i just gotta not talk i always like um singing to weird sounds and ooh, get to the same timber timber that they are okay thank you um, yeah, because you need to work on presentation a lot. Um, we'll have a separate lecture on portfolio building, how to make everything look nice. Um, thank you for the garage noises, Luba. What? Thank you for the garage noises. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's just there's like five people went in and out out of a garage. It's okay. We were singing to the tune. But yeah, I'm working on the presentation a little bit. Super solid character design. Everything that you describe here does read in the character. Right, scientist who works with mushrooms. Mushroom scientists. Okay, those are, I guess, the variations. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, um, I like number one, two. I like all of them, honestly. So, it depends what you want to do. Like the third one looks grumpy. 
The fourth one looks kind of a little bit naive. The first one kind of looks Edna mode, you know, kind of like know it all. And in the, in the second tournament, this one looks kind of like also like Edna from the Incredibles. So yeah, just choose one. I'm not sure which one. Um, just push it, push it further. Oh, very nice. All right, Dormato. Cool. You hear some kind of noises, or maybe puts his neck back in place. I like it. Very nice. Very cool. I can see that you have a very. I think you have a solid visual library of what you want, but then you're still constrained just a little bit with your painting skills here and there. But don't worry, you'll get it. You'll get it. You know, just one, just just one suggestion. Just keep everything as simple as possible. Breaking it to uh, you know, simple digestible chunks, you know, first just the torso, you know, then the legs. Don't try because I can see that you right away went into painting his boots and his jeans, right? And I'm not sure if you painted his face or overpainted over on top of something. I'm not sure. This looks like a little bit of an overpaint. But you know, sometimes, you know, it's okay to do that if you want to learn. But, 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 you know, make sure that you just dissect everything to just digestible chunks, you know. Um, don't, don't try to make everything too complicated. Uh, which is like, for example, this gun. I have no idea what this is. Is this gonna like a hologram gun? Just, you need to, like, for example, if you're gonna give this to 2D animators, or a 3D team, they'll have no idea what this is, right? Is it like, um, yeah, there's, is there like, is it a sword? Is it a gun? Is it a plane? It's Superman, you know? So make sure that everything that you do is readable for your story, because again, People need to understand what it is. Like, I have no idea. It looks like a gun. I know the story that he shoots this thing, but if I saw this, and then I saw this, I'm like, why, where, where does this thing go, right? Where is the shotgun hole for this thing to go in, right? How does this function? Where's the trigger for this gun, right? I, I know that he has it like, you know, glowing on his belt, Right, but that's the only thing I understand. Right, let's see those guys. So those guys have their own mini mini guns here and there. Very nice, very cool. Um, you know, but again, I don't really understand what's going here with the gun itself. Um, <laughs> yeah. And maybe make the the shape of the of the shell a little bit more, like a like a like a shotgun shell. <laughs> uh, but overall, um, I like your idea. It's very cowboy versus aliens. Have, have you seen this movie? Um, it's really nice. So um, yeah, <laughs> just yeah, just make sure you make the shotgun shells look. More like shotgun shells. Um, <laughs> all right, next. Um, oh boy. I have no idea how you designed this transformer. Um, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Super cool. I have nothing to say. This is super solid. Um, very nice. Color explorations. Cool. Very nice. Shape explorations. And I guess this is the whole team. Are they? Yeah, super cool. Very nice. I have nothing to say. Just continue, please. All right, hey Graham. Right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Right. 
Let me see. I like this because he has, you know, wear and tear on him. I like, yeah, I just like this because they look like real people, very grounded, very cool. The turnaround is awesome. This is also awesome. Yeah, very nice. Uh, just, just continue, please. Very cool. Very nice. Doink. All right, I have some extra time this morning, so I need to add it to back if you can call it my character watch. Awesome. All right. Cool. Very nice. Impressions. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Very nice. Now with all sides. Nice. Her Man. Her I'll just I'll just I'll just call you minor. Very nice. I like it. Mm-hmm. Update. Let's see if Mm, a jump animation has been added here, but still doesn't read it like a real character. So maybe add a little bit of uh, of hands. I like your little notes and that you're tired. Um, I really appreciate them. Right, Kirks. Cool. Very nice. Very cool. Costume differences, Alana. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, there's one thing that like I, I get a feeling when I look at this, like I I, I want to go away like a vampire because it's so bright. Just maybe just have like, maybe like a black bar under the design so we can read her better. Um, and I see that you probably did this in Paint Osai. A hundred percent you did this in Paint Osai. <laughs> I see the brush. Uh, yeah, very cool, very nice. Cheers to you fellow Osai user. All right, Marco, the my, my personal cheerleader. Very cool, very nice. One thing to keep in mind, all this is very cool and awesome, right? But, you know, think about the function of all of this. Because I know we have, and you know, sometimes we have the, you know, you know, the, the power just to show cool stuff on characters, right? But always like, say like, why is this thing connected like this, right? Because it's a shoulder and shoulders usually work like this to go up and down, right? So if you would want to, like her arm is stuck in place right now because there's no, there's, there's nothing to let it open up, right? Because Maybe like because there's yeah, these things are not gonna move unless you have maybe a connection like this. Then maybe there's gonna be like this is gonna be kind of like a harmonica type of a deal. Then it might have like a little bit of motion up, but not all the way up because the moment this thing will come here, it's gonna be stuck and she she can she can move her you know she can move her arm like this far, but she cannot put it up. Right? This is a knife, this is fine, maybe some kind of a dart, you know, everything is fine. Yeah, and then like, for example, here's you have a joint, but you're not showing how is she gonna bend it, right? Is, is, is this the elbow? Like, are those things like wires that bent and she can do it, right? Um, yeah, just make sure that, um, just, just make sure that when you, create anything mechanical that, you know, it has real, like, because humans have a shoulder, they have a bicep, then they have triceps, and then they have like underneath something, which is called bones, right? And then usually all of the designs, even like John Silver's ones is usually, you know, it's mimicked after real life and it's functional. <laughs> yeah, so just keep that in mind. But overall, I really like your explorations. The character itself feels good, you know, just, to simplify it a little bit. I, I see that you're trying to be very careful. I just look at the pants and the pants are maybe traced on top of other pants. I'm not sure. Uh, but 
you know, just try to keep everything as simple as possible and don't try, don't, don't hide behind details. Uh, yeah, but they're all really good. Very nice. Very awesome. And you even did some silhouettes. So very good. Sorry, I can't read this right now, but maybe I'll just do it later. Okay. Uh, so you did this tonight. Paulina, nice, regular, armed, caped. Okay, cool. Um, so kind of a high up, kind of craft Dracula type of a person. Just continue, you know. There's, there's, there's something lacking. He looks like a right now. Like if you create a character in Sim and he's just standing, just need some personality into this guy. You know, some something that makes him special, like an amulet. You know, maybe some special shoes or a weapon. I know you did this in like three and a half hours. So this is just some food for thought. Just, just think about your character design in, in a more in depth way. Okay, Viking Ranger. Extra brownie points for animation. Very nice, man. Um, yeah, I really like this. I really like that you did the turnaround and you also did the transformation that he turn. He basically expands or the rock formation basically goes down. So first it expands and then it shrinks and then he becomes this thing but on another hand yeah maybe if this was animation uh try to figure out that to maintain your try maintaining uh the shapes even though you did maybe just show that this guy's bigger now you know that he's like his head is up here because i, I understand this guy is so big now that the 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 the, the the stones are looking small to all that. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah, it's very cool design. Very like that you're thinking about animation. If you want to animate his transformation, that would be also really cool to include into your portfolio. It's not going to be too hard. It's probably going to be like three frames. And you have most of them now. You just need like one in between, which is this one. Yeah, and you just, you can just cycle the animation. It's very nice, very cool. I really like it. Nice. Okay, Penju. Okay, I've done it at 1038. Still counts. It's amazing how many people. So this was when, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you when I made the announcement. So yeah, I made an announcement around 1030 and then like people just started posting like crazy. All right, paint you, inks. Very nice characters, the taste buddies, very nice. Uh, all of them have a unique shape. I really love that. Just continue. I really like that. Yeah, nothing to say. Very cool. Right. Cool pirate lady. Yeah, also nothing to say. Very nice. Very cool. Super solid. I like the facial expressions, you know, just continue on. Nothing more. Um, cool. This one just needs a little bit more structure. You know, it's a little bit too angular and I think the handle is too short. Um, yeah, but overall it's a very nice concept. I like it. I like it, very cute. All right, cool, weird character. The only description is, ah. <laughs> Guys, with your descriptions, you know, just treat this, you know, again, like treat this as a professional place. Come in, it's like, just show what it is. Um, yeah, one thing is like, I'm not sure what's happening with the face. I'm not sure if it's a peacock or it's just some interesting, weird, just there's nothing in there. I'm not sure what the form is. Like this reads as a triangle, but I'm not sure if there's like, is there actual hands? underneath the structure of this peacock or it is not a peacock i have no idea like what's underneath like there's no suggestion uh, so i'll just make that a little bit clearer um, but overall the idea is very unique and interesting it just needs a little bit to be pushed a little bit okay but with the explanation of the silhouettes you know maybe as your first you know as your first presentation of your character, just, you know, maybe make him in a pose right away. So it's readable. And then you can have this pose. Um, right. Antonina Kowalewski. Hey, Polish people. 
Super great artist in Poland. Is Poland in... Yeah. Alright. Super cool. <laughs> I like the extra... Uh, I, I, li I like the extra details in the a, in a, in a buttocks area. Very... Very defined. <laughs> very defined bum bum. Um, nice hammer. Just overall nice design, you know. Continue on. I see you are very solid in character design. Nothing to say. Okay, cool. Uh, Staff 13. Cool. Nice and simple. Very good for 2D animation. I'm not sure where you did the keyframe to the right here. It looks like it's still in progress. This is nice. Cool. Callouts are very, very nice. Right, Mushroom Boy. Cool. Cool. Nice. Continue with the same passion and dedication. All right, turn around. So I guess she's, um, that's her, I guess, underwear and t-shirts. That's her pajamas. And that's her in, uh, ah, I got it. So she's um, kind of like, um, what do you call snow people? Snow people? Like a chukcha? No, not a chukcha. I don't know. Do you want to say hi to the Vikings? Hi, Vikings. Do you want to go on the camera? No, I My wife is too shy to do that. You look very good. Come on. I know. You know? Okay, good. It's good that you know. All right. I'm completely stuck. Don't like the way it looks, but can't do anything with it. All right. Looks like somebody needs our help, guys. Let's let's help, fellow Viking. Everyone says hi to you, by the way. Hi, thank you. <laughs> All right, so you have a cat, cat spaceman or cat apocalypse. All I can see is that you're really good at, you know, drawing cat faces and then you're getting a little bit lost. So what I would do if I were you, you know, gather some reference of spaceman and post-apocalyptic things. You know, copy paste your cat head onto that concept and see how it looks and then trace on top and then see and feel out the design and then redraw it with new shapes onto it. Um, yeah. Overall, very nice. I don't think you're stuck. I think you're, it's work in progress. So all we have to do is just to push on a little bit. There's not much difference within all those designs. So what you have to do is don't pay attention to tone. Don't pay attention to color. Just use line work and that's it. All right, next. Okay, you're trying to get time feedback. I'll push out of the hands after. Okay. Um, cool character. Not sure what this is, some kind of a device. Um, nice. This is not sure if she, maybe people can't look at her for some reason. I like it. Nice. I just have no idea who they are as people, but in terms of simplicity for 2D animation, this is perfect. So just continue. Very nice. All right. Next. Romana. <laughs> I like the keyframe of her shutting up the uh, <laughs> the frog. Uh, super great silhouettes. Nice character. I like it. Yeah, just continue on. Very nice. Right, Tim. So, this is like a character. You know, maybe the metal is going to have more shine onto it. Um, this is like a spear mechanism. And it just needs more. I don't really understand what the spear mechanism does. But it's good that you're thinking about those things. Um, yeah. Just make sure you do a turnaround because it's just a single character. And honestly, I don't see those things that you mentioned in here. Uh, it looks like you found a really good, 
reference for a knight and copy to him, right? And yeah, there's nothing bad about reference, but usually when you present your character, he needs to be in a more neutral pose to show off his design. And if you're not gonna have that, you know, it's really hard for me to understand what the character even does. <gasps> We're almost done, guys. Uh, if, if I missed anybody, just please, you know, because I know we did a new channel from Homework 5. Um, so if if you didn't re-upload anything to Homework 5, please tell me because I don't want to. Yeah, this is a cool design. Just needs to be pushed on a little bit. All right. Nice. I like it. Exploration is there. Helmet. You know. Variation of the clothing is also very nice. Okay, thank you, Julie. <laughs> You're the best. Um, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Anything after? All right, okay, 1102. I'll do 1102. Pit, PT Pit maybe had some, you know, struggles with Wi-Fi. Sorry. This is very nice, and there's not much to feedback. It's it's a very nice it's a very nice design, yeah. You only you were only late by two minutes, so I'll give you some grace. Um, yeah, nice stuff, bit um, super cool, very cute, fairy uh, character. Um, yeah, all the people after some people even did things in traditional. That's amazing. Some people you know updated their stuff. Oh wow, did you do it in three D? Nice. Um, yeah, all I can do is just skim through and just say, guys, almost no refs. Okay, but I gotta tell you guys, um, good job. I'm proud of you. Um, there's someone mentioned some crow person or someone that posted in old homework finished and I did not see something. So I'm gonna give you guys some time to make sure that I did not leave anyone behind who did upload in time. Okay. But overall to recap, everyone done an amazing job, you know, pay attention to a few things. First, that your character sheet is nice and simple to read. You know, you have your main focal point, which is your character, maybe with one variation to show like this is my main actor then everything else is like should support this and explain more in depth right so if, if everything is equal and it's just a wall of notes that is not very clear when when an art director is going to look at it he's going to be like i don't know how to read and decipher all this right so you know composing a character design shape it's like almost like composing a real image in terms of composition, right? You have your main focal point and you have your, you know, so you have your dominant and then subdominant uh, focal points. And you have to really pay attention to, um, you know, the way you reorganize everything. So everything is clear as possible. Another one that I, uh, sh that I saw is a lot of people would get up, uh, they would be caught up in details and painting process to make it look good in terms of like sketchiness and form and everything else but they would not figure out the design aspect of the character so they would just try to speed run the whole thing and create this awesome looking character design sheet and they think this is concept art no what you need to do is first pick one you know method of how you paint like if you paint with like traditionally with like with color and tone sure but i would just say line work and just flat colors that's it don't get distracted by values don't get distracted by color just you know pure design aspect of it because it really is going to shoot yourself in the foot if you're going to go and i know the temptation of making everything look good and professional that's why you put in tone in but that means you are running away from a task you're trying to do something that you can already do which is tone right um which is tone to someone oh cool i'll do that uh which is tone and you already can do that you already can do tone right and what you're trying to do is um 
you're basically trying to balance out your lack of design skills or construction skills with with your presentation and oh i can do value skills and you in your brain you're like well it looks cool but the thing is you have to design it doesn't have to look cool we have to be designed well and then you and then presentation comes in so do not start making everything pretty until you have a structure all right uh yeah sveta your batsy super cool very simple very nice i like it there's nothing to say say awesome very cool all right and then julie all right with with you um there's one thing that you have to keep in mind in terms of structure for characters it's usually when you have the back usually it's it ends here and sometimes it goes like you know it goes here because you're gonna have those flaps or yeah because if it's if it's gonna be like this it can be kind of like told as like stylization but usually usually uh, there's um, there's some kind of like overlap because we do need we, we have those wing muscles going on top of our shoulder muscles um, yeah really nice gestures are really like this really like this very like this this is very nice and cool is he rapping if you're gonna go whoa Pachipa. i don't know but i really like it um and that's probably him dancing with oh it's a dance move oh how cute it's probably maybe a ghost of his wife or something um that's him or that's his kid he's walking in really yeah very cool very solid super solid um silhouettes yeah the only thing is there's no only thing he looks kind his shape design is awesome i like it very cool yeah just can continue on you know maybe just with uh, with the with the pockets there maybe you know because you have such a simple character design and i mean if you're gonna do everything too much like i would just do like you know maybe three buttons and then balance it out with you know with one pocket on the left for example um and then put a pen there maybe um yeah but overall super solid you know super simple very good for 2d animation um there's nothing else i want to say yeah good job all right that'll be it for today i think um yeah yeah super i like that you have a super simple design and then in your store you're probably going to use gesture to like sell what is going on so yeah presentation don't get distracted by fancy things keep it simple use one way of drawing you know and simplify everything into the simplest forms possible you know make it clear uh for the design team and make it clear for the viewer because a lot of the times when you include too much stuff in your character sheet again you compose it like an image focal point and then subdominant um focal points but what i want to say guys it's amazing how many entrants we, we've got in terms of character designs you know um it's very cool it's very awesome you know you guys rock just make sure that you are going at the at, at the right pace that you are you know not overstressing yourself that you are not self-bashing and self-sabotaging yourself. This is made for you to improve and have fun and to go at the pace that you can because, yeah, because you need to have fun. You have to understand that this is for you, for your improvement, not so you suffer more. So if you feel like you are lacking behind, that's fine. You know, you can catch up a little bit later because you're gonna have lectures available for a while, right? So, yeah you know relax a little bit you know slow down have fun <laughs> um yeah high five everybody very nice woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh epic viking family yeah i'm proud of you guys very nice lots of cool stories a lot of personal stories 
a lot of you know a lot of struggle and overcoming a lot of very very you know very strong uh character designs and very strong people uh that do them so yeah well we did well we made everything almost in um in two hours so yeah good job everybody i'll see you on monday uh do not forget that on monday we are uh we are doing what are we doing on monday uh we are doing um i think facial expressions yay july 25 facial expressions it's gonna be super cool and super awesome so um yeah you know um then we're gonna have cr talking about concept art and fundamentals of design and then on the friday we're going to be diving into fundamentals of environments and it's going to be super cool and super awesome so yeah uh let's call everybody uh hopefully this was um useful and yeah if i did if i missed your work or it was in another channel i am sorry it's that was not my intention i do try to give justice to everybody um but yeah, cheers everybody, skull, stay hydrated. I have no idea what to say anymore. <laughs> Bye.